Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's video, I am going to show you an amplifier circuit. This is an IC-based amplifier circuit. TDA7377 IC is used for the making of this amplifier circuit. One of my previous video, I already made a stereo amplifier circuit with this IC. In this video, I will show you how to make a 2.1 amplifier circuit with this IC. These are the components needed for make this amplifier circuit. This is the circuit diagram of this amplifier. Here I am using a doted PCB to assemble this circuit. Now let's start the assembling. Zero point two two MFD capacitor, which is used as an audio input coupling capacitor for the amplifier. For the speaker output, here I am using 1000 MFD 16 volts capacitors. The power supply which I am going to use is less than 15 volts. But for the recommended voltage and better performance, you can use 2200 MFD 25 volts capacitors.
This is a very important component in this circuit. This resistor is connected at pin number 7. The other end of the resistor is connected at the positive terminal. If we disconnect the resistor from the positive terminal, the amplifier will turn off. If we connect the resistor back to the positive supply, the amplifier will turn on. Which means that pin number 7 of this IC is used for enabling and disabling the output of the amplifier. In order to get a proper output power from this amplifier, we have to add an additional gainer circuit to this amplifier. For the gainer circuit, here I am using two transistors. Finally, I finished the circuit assembling. I have connected all the connection wires. This is a sub-woofer filter board. This board is used for the filtering of low-frequency audio signals. This board required dual DC supply for its working voltage. From the pre-audio output, we take two connections, left channel and right channel, which is connected to the input of the sub-woofer board. From the sub-out pin, we take the pre-output for the sub-woofer amplifier. Here are some preset resistors in which we can adjust the audio output, such as frequencies, output gain, and also we can increase or decrease the bass effect by rotating the preset. I have made all the connections here. Now we can test the amplifier.
That's all in this video, we'll see you on my next video. Thank you for watching.